The left high flow channel at Harvey Passage is suitable for well-equipped and experienced whitewater users. If you do not have river safety training, knowledge, or class three whitewater skills, you are much better served using the safer and still super fun right low flow channel of Harvey Passage. Hey, it's Gord here with AQ Outdoors. And in this four part video series, we're gonna be discussing the high flow side of Harvey Passage and providing you with some much needed beta. Please check out the description below for links to paddling maps, gauges, and other useful information for Harvey Passage. The features on the left high flow channel of Harvey Passage start at number one, the weir. There are small openings carved into this feature to allow for easier passage. From here, the river splits around a small island in the middle of the channel, making two drops. These are 2R and 2L. Below 2R and 2L, the river again is divided by a small mid-channel island. These drops are known as 3L and 3R. 3L is sadly a no-go zone due to it being extremely retentive. 3R is often referred to as Fight Club. The river forms a big pool above the final drop, feature number four. This is actually two features known to the locals as Tatanka, the first river-wide wave, and the reactionary feature below Tatanka, which is known as White Buffalo. In order to properly assess the level of this channel, we need to use two gauges, the bow at the city of Calgary and the elbow below elbow down. Simply add these two together to get the accurate river flow. Access the gauges using the link to the Alberta Rivers page in the description section below. Flow ranges for the left channel are pretty broad as it is a large section of river. I would consider 60 to 150 CMS to be on the low to medium side, and this is characterized by smaller, though often more retentive features, less boils, and the pools between each feature move much more slowly. 150 to 250 CMS is definitely more in the medium to high range. The features start to get bigger looking and feeling, and they still have plenty of retentive feel to them. The pools wash through more quickly and the boils start to get juicier. Based on my experience, the very best optimal flow for experienced paddlers is anything in the 280 to 310 CMS range. This has all the features at the optimal level. This would be considered a pretty high flow. Above 310 CMS or so, the river is definitely getting to the point where city officials start issuing river use advisories and the left channel gets very big and very powerful. River debris and trees often become a problem and they are very hard to see at all the features. Follow the link in the description to see more detailed videos on each of the different drops in the left flow channel. This video is just an intro to the left side of Harvey Passage, an often vilified and misunderstood section of river. It is a great step up for strong intermediate paddlers looking to experience some relatively forgiving bigger water. You can also find more information on Harvey Passage by using the paddling maps link in the description below. Thanks for watching and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to follow us for more content.